Namaste, Zen Zebras. Okay, so, uh, you know I'm on the case. I'm always on the case, even though I don't want to be on the case. Um, Jennifer Dulos um, has a very special place in my heart. She's the woman from Connecticut um, that I love very much, and I haven't been able to find her yet, but now the search, if you watched my one minute video, the search in Waverly Park um, is taking place. Uh, they said it's just procedure, uh, but we'll see. Okay, so I did my prayers, some of my prayers, because I do have to go out Christmas food shopping, and um, I did my prayers, I saged my cards, tried to sage me, okay, um, I only had one cup of coffee, so this is what I got, okay, my question was, where can we find Jennifer Dulos, please, your spirit guides, talk through me, talk through my cards, and where can we find Jennifer Dulos? And um, so this is what I got. Okay. Uh, I know they are looking in a park. In my head. Okay. Psychically in my head. I'm really trying hard to tap in. Okay. Because I haven't done her case in so long. It went cold like a, a lot of other cases out there. And um, sometimes I just am told to move on. But anyhow, I'm trying my best. I only have a couple of minutes before we have to leave. And so what I see psychically, before I explain the cards, is psychically I see her in, I don't know what it's called, but it's, you know when you go to a park or you go to like a wooded area and you walk down a little bit of a hill and there's like um, a drainage cement round pipe, okay? Maybe that's what it's called. And I feel it's white white cement because I see white I see water nearby but like muddy water like um murky water like a it's like a, a little pond and um plenty of sticks and mud uh it's really snowy and cold there not many people walk through there when it's cold out the only time you see people there is when it's really sunny and they want want to walk on a little trail um, but it's off a highway, and that's funny because I got a highway, nearby highway, okay? Um, so I don't feel like her body is all together. Of course, it's like two years later um, or more. Um, and so I feel like it's her skull. I feel like they would find a, a bone in her body and her skull. Um, I feel like she was, I, I, this is graphic, so trigger alert. Um, if you don't like graphic, click click off. Um, but I'm just uh, honest with you and what I see. And I feel um, he did hit her. Um, I, I mean, I explained in my earlier videos. I did many videos for Jennifer Dulos. You can go back to my videos back in the past. Um, but I felt like he hit her. He hid in her garage. He drove that bike, his bike down that trailway and he hid in his garage in her garage okay so when she came back from dropping off the kids um she did get a glimpse of seeing him and she went into the house um at first they were just talking but she did feel like it was a weird thing of course him hiding it there then he did hit her they argued for a short amount of time when he realized he wasn't going to be able to manipulate to what he wanted I feel he hit her several times, and then she was knocked out. She wasn't dead. Um, but then I think she came to a little bit, and he tied her hands. I hear, I feel her hands tied, and I think they found the ties to her hands. Behind her back, she had a very bad head injury, and I feel like he put her in that car um, that he borrowed from his... He put, well, he actually put her in, I, I, I feel like he took her car and put it, placed it over by there. And, um, I feel like he, I know this is terrible, but I feel like he did tr attempt to cut her up. I feel like 
he did attempt to cut her up, but he couldn't do it. He didn't have enough time because the kids would have to be get picked up. Um, and he knew he'd be getting that phone call that she didn't come pick them up or whatever babysitter um, was expecting her. Anyhow, um, so I feel like parts of her were put somewhere else. But there might be a part of her in Waverly Park. I'm hoping. In a cement piping, those wide cement things that you can actually walk through, like kids like to play in there, animals go in there, um, and there's mud and things like that. I think he put pieces of her, her in different places, just like he threw out bloody rags of her in different places, different garbages, okay? Okay, so I got near a trailer, all right? I don't feel that hot on that. Uh, rural farmland. Well, I think Connecticut, that area, is very rural. Put in plastic container. Near a highway. I feel hot on that. Um, by the time he got the plastic container or tarp, it was, too, it was too late. There was a lot of blood in the garage. There was a lot of blood um, in his friend's car. And he, he, you know, told the friend or the guy, the worker, to take the seat out. And the friend kept the seat, thank God. See, there are good people. Um, okay, distinct scratches or tattoos. Um, I don't feel... I feel like Photos Dulos had a couple of scratches from Jennifer. But I, I think that, you know, they didn't get him on that. Okay. I did have, I did get the gunshot card, but I don't feel hot on the gunshot shot. I feel like maybe he wanted to do the gunshot because that would be a little bit cleaner. Um, I'm not sure. There's something with a gun. Maybe he threatened her with a gun. Okay. Okay, this one, some I don't feel hot on, but they told me pick 12 of these, so I will do, um, so theft, that's for sure, you know, he stole money from her, he stole money from uh, her parents and never, and never gave it back, said it was a gift, it's not a gift, photos, it wasn't a gift, stealing, petty, contractual, okay, the, very hot on that card, okay, located, or that was a time, Frame, or located or a time frame 8 to 10 years I hope not I hope not okay I wear a mask or masks I change my personality based on who I'm talking to and what I want now you might say okay that's definitely photo stulo but I also get this for Michelle Traconis okay and my my readings are um, for entertainment reasons only um Everybody is innocent until proven guilty in a court of law, but sometimes the court of law messes up. Okay, so I feel that not only Photos Dulos was a friggin' jerk-off, um, bipolar narcissist, or maybe not even bipolar, Just he just wore a mask to get what he wanted from everybody. And the only person he loved was himself. Not even his kids. Jerk off. Anyhow, I feel Michelle Traconis, she could be like, oh, the strong, sexy girlfriend. And then she can also be, oh, I'm just a mother of a child and I would never do that. Okay? I call bullshit on her. Don't, everybody out there, don't let her get away with murder. Or a, a helping, even if she didn't know what the bloody rags were or what the rags were that they were throwing away in different spots, you have to be a dummy to, to not understand that. Why would you go to all these different garbage cans? You wouldn't ask your boyfriend that? You wouldn't put a clue in a clue together? Which I know there was a phone call made from Photostulos, psychically I know this, and maybe the cops know it too, um... Photo Stoolers called Michelle and said, you got to clean up. You got to clean up. You got to help me clean up. And when she realized that she was getting in worse and worse trouble, she said, oh, I, I got to change that story. 
and I, I didn't end up seeing him. She did see him, and she just didn't want to help clean up, but then she did. Maybe he, you know, um, maybe he gave said you'll have a whole bunch of money soon, or uh, you're going to be in trouble, and, or I'm going to kill you if, unless you help me, okay? Anyway, um, I get a blue and hazel eyes. Either they have blue eyes or they have hazel eyes. They have blonde or shady blonde hair. They have highlights. I think that's Michelle. I think that describes Michelle. But if it describes somebody else that knows about the case, please get in touch with the um, Connecticut police. Please. If you think you saw anything, know anything, saw her car parked there, saw something strange about Michelle, saw something strange about anything uh, uh, around Jennifer, please, please call the police. Okay? And then we have by trees of forest. Feel very hot on that. Very hot. Okay, now I'm just going to pick up my other cards and try to I don't know how to put this so that you guys could see it but okay okay so now I'm just going to shuffle these cards all right please spirit guides Please, spirit guides of Jennifer Faba Dulos and Jennifer Faba uh, dad in heaven, who she is with a lot of the time. Um, please help us, Jennifer's father, the spirit guides of Jennifer's father. Jennifer Faba, your spirit guides and you, please help us to find where your body is located. We know what happened. We pretty much know what happened, that you got killed and murdered, but we need to know where your body is located where did just give us some information please so we can find you and give your mom and your sister and your five kids some sort of peace they lost their mother and their father uh, and you know their grandmother is raising them five kids and she lost her husband, I think, like two years before Jennifer died. Uh, thank you. Jennifer Barbadoulos, Jennifer Barbadoulos. Please let us know where you are. My spirit guides, Shanann and Gannon. Uh, my spirit guides, Tylee. Tylee's good at directions. Please let us know. Put in pictures of my mind, put pictures on the cards where Jennifer could be located, where is her physical body. I know that we're just looking for bones. I know we're just probably looking for a skull. Um, in my head right now is flashing. Let me show you that. In my head is flashing um, Kaylee Anthony. So I feel like tape, duct tape was put on her head like Kaylee Anthony, the baby, which is terrible, but I have to tell you what I see. Okay, here we go. And they said put out seven. Thank you. Thank you, spirit guides. And thank you, Jennifer. Thank you, Jennifer. Okay, so I have Four of Wands, Happy Home, Personal, Possible Country Setting. Okay, so were you trying to say that it's, it's close to your home? Because I know your home was in Connecticut, but it was like kind of a country setting. This is generally a happy card, okay? Um, yeah, so country setting and maybe it's not far from her home. I really thought it was uh, Jefferson um, a while back. They were checking the um, sewage tank of her, the Jefferson home that he was working on and that there was construction on and stuff.
I guess they didn't find it because they didn't find anything because they checked, I think, two days in a row. Two of Pentacles. Okay, so see water? And this is an emotional card. It's like you're up and you're down. Um, and it says money, confusion, juggling two situations or ideas around. Okay, so I really believe from this card that she's located in, in more than one position more than one place so one is a country setting which could be close to her house which could be near that park uh, perhaps and then this is the beach this is a beachy area okay and didn't he drive to like Brooklyn um, I forget where he drove exactly but he drove through Manhattan Brooklyn he went all over so she could be she could be over by a beach area too but um yeah this is very emotional this is like two different places okay. okay then I get the magician okay magician definitely plans things and they have everything everything that they need they have um, all the signs. They have pentacles, which are the earth signs, which are Capricorn, uh, Capricorn, Virgo, and um, who's the other earth sign? Oh my God, I'm earth. Oh, I got it right here. Capricorn, Taurus. <laughs> yeah, I'm married to a Taurus. I've got about Taurus. Um, the swords, which are all the air signs, which are Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. The cups, which are are uh, all the water signs that has to do with love and has to do with friendship. Almost done. I got what? Okay, at uh, three minutes, I'm gonna be done. Okay, so this this card is just telling me that he had everything available to do what he wanted. Pentacles, friendship. Sword is, you know, even fighting the law, okay, and until he didn't, okay. And we have a Queen of Pentacles, which is usually a dark haired, uh, dark eyed woman, sometimes dark hair, dark, dark skin, sometimes olive complexion, over 25, um, professional business domineering, okay. We might get answers from this person. Okay, this could even be Jennifer, because Jennifer had dark eyes, but she didn't have dark skin, okay? But I feel this person, I'm almost feeling like a motherly energy. I think her mo mother knows some information. I'm sure she gave it to the police. But I mean, who knows their daughter better than their mother? Yeah. Okay, and what I felt like is something that she said to them they're not looking into. And she's upset about that. Um, okay, so this is elevation of money, overseas trip, um, completion phases. Okay, so when I hold this card, what I feel is in relation to the question is um, I just sincerely feel that the people that are uh, Photos Dulos and Michelle Traconis, they have um, connections with Europe. You know, um, Photos Dulos is from Greece, so his whole family is from Greece, and they came, flew in to say goodbye to him when he was dying from his self-inflicted um, killing himself in his car with the gas. Um, and totally think he's innocent. Um, and Michelle Traconis, of course, her family, I think, are from Spain. And they think she's totally innocent. So, in other words, but there's somebody on both ends, like maybe Photostulo's sister or brother, knows that he's been like that. He's been a maniac. He's been a narcissist ever since they were little. There were things that happened in their childhood that they noticed him do. Um, and they could talk, okay, but because they're bloodline family, they don't want to, but maybe somebody is going to talk because they know that it's right. It's, they have information 
on both ends. Somebody in Spain or used to live in Spain and somebody in Greece. They still live in Greece. Okay. Uh, hopefully people can forward my videos to the police if they want. I used to try to do that, but they never call me back. I did it on Jennifer Dulos, I did it on Suzanne, and I did it on one other case, and they never called me back. I think I did it twice for Suzanne. Anyhow, and twice for Jennifer. Um, Six of Wands. Okay, so this person is going somewhere. Spirit, guys, can you help me with this card? What do you want? What does this card mean? Letter or news coming. Victory, news. Oh, good, I hope. Please, God, in Jesus' name. Please let there be news for Jennifer. Letter. I like when I see this card. Six of Wands. Letter or news coming in. Victory, news. Victory, news. See that, guys? Well, that's going to be good to end with. Okay, I got one more card, then I got to get out of here. Um, Nine of Wands. Okay, yes, there's a certain detective, um, undecided, need to take a step out of the situation, then you will see more clearly. Okay, yeah, there's definitely, this might be the lawyer, um, Ken Mahoney, Mahoney, um, he was involved with Fotos Dulos. Him and Fotos Dulos were going to kill each other's wives, okay? They had a deal to allegedly... Um, to kill each other's wives, but you can look it up. Um, it's in court records. Um, he's now in jail, but they let him out for his father's funeral. Um, but I'm pretty sure he's back in jail. Anyway, um, he has jail time because he dug two holes in the golf course, and one was supposed to be for Jennifer, and one was supposed to be for his wife. Okay, but when Photos Dulos went over to talk to his wife, to talk to um, Ken Mahoney, you know, the lawyer's uh, wife, uh, she wouldn't answer the door. She said, I'm not talking to you. I don't trust you. I don't trust my husband, my ex-husband, whatever he was, estranged. And I, don't tr I certainly don't trust you. So I'm not opening the door for you. And thank God that probably saved her life. Anyway, Ken didn't end up killing Jennifer but he knew a lot about it and he knew that Photostoulos was going to kill her and that's why he dug the two holes okay they checked out the holes and the holes were empty of course he's not going to bury her there because he probably knew in his gut Photostoulos knew in his gut that he would probably end up singing okay and he did but I think he might have something else or this could represent another person that has information, but just feels like too attacked and is scared to say it. But please, God, let anybody who has information, please, on Jennifer Dulos, where she might be, or even if they think it's not useful information, but it has something to do with the case, please let them talk to the right authorities or the newspaper or media. Okay, because that's the only thing, only way things get going is when you talk to the media. Or the police. Okay. Or oh, both. Okay, guys. I hope this helped a little bit. I don't know. Uh, I Jennifer appreciates my energy, she said. Um, so let me know if you want me to look into it more. Just uh, all I ask is, you know, I do this for free. All I ask is please just put your prayers up. Wherever you're doing in your day right now, just say, please, dear God, please, angels, archangels, and spirit guides, please help us to find, help somebody to find Jennifer Dulos's body, anything of her physical body. Thank you, dear God, in Jesus' name. Amen.